Hey guys, my name is Deb Marnie and I'm from Aussie Mail and this is our Chain Mail tutorial channel. Hey guys, a big hi, hello, welcome, how are you? Thanks for popping in today and spending some time with me. It is really great to see you. So today I've got a project weave to show you. Uh, this one is um, I'm calling a triple spiral ladder bracelet. Um, it's very similar if you've seen some of our other ones like the Byzantine ladder and the helm ladder both of which I'll put links up in the video as we go along for you to look at. Um, so it, it's sort of in the same theme as those weaves. So um, look guys that's enough chatter let's get into it. Alrighty so here is a sample piece of the triple spiral ladder bracelet made up for you. Um, the ring sizes I used Will be coming up here on the screen they'll also be down in the description section that you will find underneath this video but just to run through them quickly with you right now uh, both the anodized rings in the middle and the larger bright aluminium rings on the outside these are 16 gauge AWG that's 1.2 millimeter diameter wire they both have a ring ID of a quarter of an inch or 6.35 millimeters and then the smaller bright aluminium rings that you can see here these ones are also 16 gauge AWG 1.2 millimeter diameter wire with a ring ID of 3.5 millimeters okay so my first thought when I was making this up was that this would be a double spiral ladder bracelet using obviously the double spiral weave but once I started putting it together I realized that it just there just wasn't enough meat to the double spiral pieces and they didn't um, form very nice sections so that's why I decided to go with the triple bar uh, spiral now I don't believe that there is anything called triple spiral in male artisans um, but that is what I'm going to call this particular weave. So to start with, close up three of your colour one, or in this case my bright aluminium rings, close up three of those. And once you've got those three closed, I'm going to pop them onto a twist tie. Now I'm just going to fold it over because I'm not going to need this for very long. It just makes it a little bit easier to um, handle the weave but I don't need it to sit there long all right so once I've got my first three set of three closed I'm going to then take up one of my colored rings and I'm going to feed it through that set of rings and I'm going to add two more of course so that we have um, another set of three. Okay. So this is what we look like at the moment. We've got a set of three bright aluminium and then a set of three colored rings. So next I'm going to take up another one of my colored rings and this time I'm going to feed it, going to fold my first set of colored rings back so that they fall to the right of my work and I'm looking for, now this is a little fiddly because we've got three rings instead of two it's a little bit more fiddly but I'm looking for this eye here where our bright aluminium and our anodized aluminium rings overlap. So I want to go straight through that eye, which means I pick up all six of those rings. Okay. So we'll take up our colored ring and we'll feed it straight through that eye, making sure we've got all six of our rings picked up okay close that ring up 
and we want to repeat that twice more with our coloured rings. So again, taking up another opened ring, feeding it through that same space, making sure I just pick up those six rings. Now because it is a bit squishy in there, sometimes it can be easy to pick up the ring that you placed previously. Make sure you don't do that. We don't want to Mobius any of our rings. We just want them to all sit in there individually. So place your third ring through the same space. Okay, taking care to only pick up those six rings that we want. And we close our work. Okay, so this is what our work currently looks like. So we've got our two sets of colored rings and our first set of bright aluminium. And this time we're going to place another set of bright aluminium rings. And this time it's going to go through the same path that our previous set are sitting in, okay? So through that same space there, okay? Picking up the six pairs, or the six rings, I should say, of the colored rings there. So this time using the bright aluminium, going through that space just there, picking up all six of our colored rings. Close that ring up and of course place two more rings through the same part. Taking the same care as before to not uh, accidentally pick up any of the rings that we placed previously, that we've only got the six rings. Okay. And that's it. That's one triple spiral unit for want of a better name. So we're going to set that aside. You will need to make up several of those units. So I'm just going to run through that again with you. So start by, I find it easiest to start by pre-closing the first three sets of rings. Okay, once you've got those closed, we want to feed them onto a twist tie. Okay. And then take up three of our colored rings and feed them through the bright aluminium rings. Okay. Okay, so we've placed our first two sets of six rings and we're going to place another set of colored rings. Now, last time we let our rings fall to the right and we ended up with a spiral that looked like this. You can change the direction of the spiral if you want. So instead of letting it fall to the right, we can shift those rings over so that they fall to the left and we do the same thing we make sure we go through and pick up all six of our previous rings okay and we do that with a total of another three rings so going through that same space like we did before making sure we only pick up the six rings, don't pick up any of the rings that you have previously added through that space until you've placed all three of your new rings. Okay, making sure you've picked up the six. Okay, so your work should look like this. So you can see that the spirals that the colored rings formed Let's see if i'll bring that a bit closer for you see that they're mirrored okay and then to finish that unit off of course we go back to our original colored ring 
and we go through that same hole that the previous set of bright aluminium rings went through and that enables us to pick up all six of our coloured rings. And again, as we've been doing, we place three of our bright aluminium rings through that same path. And that's it guys, that's how you make up the spiral units. So go ahead and make several of those up. And once you've got them made, I'll meet you back here to show you how I put them all together. Okay, so once you've constructed your um, triple spiral units, take up one of your small rings and we're just going to put a pair on each end of our spiral units. Okay, so just put one pair on each end of your spiral units. And then once we've done that, Now obviously you'll need to do it to at least two units when you're starting. Okay, so take up another prepared unit and simply with another small ring, go through one of those rings that you attached to the end on one unit and on your second unit that you're joining it to, close your ring up and repeat the same on the other end. So go through one of the small rings on each spiral unit, close it up, and your wax should look like this. So you can see here I've got um, alternating spiral ones in my weave. So you can do the alternating or you can do um, them all the same way, which is what I did with this piece here. It's totally up to you, whichever way it rocks your world, then go for that. And then once you've joined all those pieces together, all I simply did for the class was I reopened uh, the leftover ring on our first unit on each end and slipped a two ring slide lock clasp onto it okay but there you go there is your triple spiral ladder bracelet <laughs> a little bit of a mouthful but um, I think it's quite an effective look all right guys well that's it that is the video tutorial for today I hope you enjoyed it and that you liked the project if you did like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up here on YouTube. Share the video if you like. If you're not a subscriber yet, you might want to consider doing that for us. That would really help us out. Um, check out some of the other videos while we're here. We've got plenty of here for you to look through. And uh, last but certainly not least, guys, uh, don't forget our shop link up here in the corner. and Give it some love and affection because that's where we sell all the bits and bobs. And you know what? You're going to need to whip up this weave and many others. All right, guys, thanks once again for popping in and spending some time with me uh, to keep safe, keep well. And I will see you again sometime in the very near future. Bye.